Our next caller is Emily from Nebraska. Hey, Emily, how can we help you? Hi there, guys. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank you for having me on. It means a lot, and I'm really excited to get to talk to you today. Cool. All right. uh, uh, so my question is, or kind of a little bit of background, um, in high school and in college, um, I was a shot putter. Um, I loved it, loved the training. I was all about it. And then my sophomore year of college, um, I hurt my shoulder. And so um, I ended up not participating or competing my junior and senior year. Um, after that, I felt like life just kind of happened. And um, I kind of started to develop, I mean, I would describe it as a bad relationship with my health. Um, I really started looking at the physical more than the internal and just what health truly was for me. Um, and so I started working with a coach two years ago now, and that's how I was actually introduced to you guys. Um, and so she started having me run anabolic and also a little bit of map strong. Um, but this past spring I had the opportunity to coach shop put again. And I just, I realized how much I missed it. I had so much fun with it. I really felt that sense of happiness and health when I was doing that kind of thing. Um, so right now I'm kind of wondering if I'm in that, um, I need something different phase. Um, so I was wondering, um, is it okay if I were to run one of your programs? Um, that would be more of a shot put thrower oriented program over like an anabolic um, even if I don't regularly throw the shot put anymore, um, and I don't really have a way of measuring my progress as far as throwing the shot put because um, there aren't a lot of competitions around here like that. Um, and if so, what kind of program would you recommend? Absolutely. That? Yeah, no, great Absolutely. question. No, the answer is no. You're not allowed to do anything. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> yeah, you li- can't do what you no, love. I- <laughs> listen, listen, Emily, you 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 were you did it in for a long time. You competed in it. You, you said a couple things that made this answer very easy for me. You, it brings you joy. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you find joy in your fitness, you're you, that's kind of part of the secret of longevity in terms of consistency with your workouts. Of course, if you don't overdo it and don't hurt yourself. So yes, please do what you love. Now, what program would benefit uh, you know, what you're doing? I mean, MAPS Performance yeah, would probably yeah, yeah. be performance for sure with that. your best type of program, but you're going to probably have to individualize it a little bit because you are you have a specific training. But, oh, listen, if you love something, a specific style of working out, so long as you don't overdo it or abuse your body, that's the one that you do because you're going to be doing it more consistently. You have joy while you do it. So definitely, definitely the answer is yes. I, I'll be even more specific. I think that uh, MAPS performance with a your all your shot put throwing type of mm-hmm. skills training. During uh, the mobility days. Mobility days. Yes. So mobility days, I would – so you'd I, I'd follow to a T pretty much the foundational days for strength training. And then on my mobility days, I would go out to the field or wherever you train for shot put – and I would start off my routine with some mobility exercises from the program. And then I would go right into my my shot putting. And I think that would be an incredible... And the only thing that I would watch for is because if you're doing all the mobility stuff and the shot putting and the foundation, maybe you feel a little soreness, especially at the beginning, carrying into your workouts because you haven't maybe done shot put stuff for a while. So then maybe scale back the intensity a little bit on yeah. the foundation days. Listen to your body if you're... If you're kind of overreaching a little bit and scale back, uh, otherwise, uh, I think that uh, that program will complement uh, your goals. You'll see incredible benefits from it, and I think it's already structured uh, for somebody like you. Yeah, find a lot of those like rotational mobility type of drills to to bring into those mobility days. You don't necessarily have to follow, you know, specifically like we we put like sort of an outline there for you to kind of pick and choose uh, which ones are most appropriate. But there's going to be some of those types of drills and movements that uh, are, are really going to be beneficial in terms of, you know, rotation and uh, proprioceptive type of, uh, you, you know, movement. And uh, I think that that's going to apply best uh, for what your pursuits are. Yeah. Do you have MAPS performance, by the way? I do not. All no, right. I don't. All right. We'll send that over to you. Okay. I we make, appreciate well, you calling. And also well, shout, out, shout out your coach there because uh, they're obviously a good coach who turned you on to us. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I have those weekly calls with her. She's like, well, listen to what my pump guys say. Did you listen to that podcast? Oh, yeah, that's great. Smart coach. Yeah. She's our people. Yep. Been awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I, I swear, unless it's hurting you, unless it's abusing you, unless you're getting developing health problems, if there is a physical pursuit that brings you joy, yeah, that's do the answer. It. Yeah, I don't care what it is. Again, unless it's hurting you. 
do that one because that's the one you're going to want to well, do. I think time. we still get this because of, uh, and this goes back to what we just talked about the other day with the whole cardio thing. I think because we we kind of shit on the cardio so much that there's people that enjoy doing things like that. And I think that's important to make clear here too, that when we've said this again, and I feel like I have to repeat it because we still get- well, this. I blame the space because the you know people I assume agree. everybody's dogmatic about whatever we promote, and really we're just trying to sift through what's best for the individual. That's right. Like you know, if she if her question was, "Hey, I'm thinking about using shot put to get in the best shape and lose body fat," do you think that's a great strategy? I'd say no, no, I don't. I yeah. think there's many other strategies that would be better than shot putting for losing body fat. But if you say I love to shot put and I enjoy that and I want to build that into my okay, routine. structure around that. 100%. Just like I would say to somebody who says, I love to go for a run or I yeah. love to get in the pool and swim laps. Like, absolutely. Let's. Is it going to be the most effective way to burn fat or build muscle? No, but it doesn't matter because the Sal's point in the pursuit of overall health and longevity, if you're doing something you love to do, then you, you absolutely should build it. I think just people get that that confused with you know their their type of training they're doing that they they've become addicted to or they fell in love with you know i.e crossfit mm -hmm. uh you know orange theory type of yeah. high intensity like beating the body up like oh i'd love it like do you really because if you really do love it you'll probably be or consistent they're trying to be all about body fat loss on top of like a <clears throat> really specific goal like that at the same time and right. trying to merge all these things together and there and there's one factor we're forgetting is consistency so you know could i construct a more a superior fat loss loss and fitness routine. I could so long as the consistency is identical, but here's what I know. It's not going to be identical. That's right. You're going to be far more consistent doing the thing that you love, which makes it the most effective way for you to work out. And I don't care what that is. Again, so long as it's not hurting you and you're not abusing yourself. If your favorite form of exercise, the one that brings you joy is dancing, guess what I'm going to tell you to do the most of? Dancing. We're going to dance. You know, I wanted her to give her coach a, a, a like a true shout out because I love, uh, this is, this is the scarcity mindset is, is, uh, overwhelming in the fitness space. Like you just a lot of egos and, and yeah. I love to hear coaches that are willing to do that. I mean, I, I think we do our, do our best to try and pride ourselves on things mm -hmm. that when there are things that are above our pay grade or somebody we know that's a friend that is a, has, is a greater expert in that, that we always drive to that. And it, and it annoys me when I hear of coaches that, you know, are so afraid to to recommend somebody else who's an expert in that field in fear of, oh, I might lose this client or that I won't get the, the return or the money from it. And I love to hear a coach that actually is doing that. So shout out to them.